Zeki goes to a restaurant which has a bumper offer going on. But to get this prize, one had to win a simple challenge. Whoever won the bumper offer would get free food throughout the year. If failed, he would have to work in the restaurant for an entire year and that too for free. Tough one, right? The challenge read, fill the glass partially with water with the help of the objects provided. You cannot touch or move the plate. The objects provided are these. An empty glass, a candle, a matchstick, a plate filled with water. Zeki keenly glanced at the objects that were provided for some time and then took up the challenge. And guess what? He won the bumper offer. But how did he win this offer? If you have these things at home, why don't you pause the video and give it a try? Hey, this is Ganesh here from Don't Memorize. Before we get to the solution of this riddle, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us. Okay, back to where we left off. First, let's take a look at the objects given. Now, to get the water inside the glass, the mouth of the glass must be in contact with water. So the first obvious step would be to invert the glass and place it on the plate like this. Wow, a small amount of water in which the glass was placed entered the glass. But this is not what we want. We need to fill the glass with a considerable amount of water. Okay, wait. We do have other objects with us. Maybe that can help? Candle and match. How do we use them? That's right. The first thing we do here is to light the candle. Okay, but how will this help us in getting the water inside the glass? You will be startled to know that it is this lighted candle which is the key in getting the water inside the glass. Yes, placing this lighted candle in the plate and then inverting the glass over it like this should be the setup. After a few minutes, you will be able to see that the candle has extinguished and the water from the plate has entered into the glass. This is how Zeki bagged the bumper prize. Curious to know how the method works? Let's together unfold the mystery. This mystery is nothing else but a simple science puzzle involving a concept which we already know about. Atmospheric pressure, which is also called air pressure. If you wish to revise the concept, click on the links given in the description below. Now, we have the setup ready. Okay, so let's get started with the science behind the puzzle. At first, the flame will heat up the air inside the glass. Let me ask you a question here. What happens when the air gets heated up? That's correct, the air expands. Thus, the pressure inside the glass is more compared to the pressure outside. Let me tell you an important fact here. Anything in nature always tends to attain stability or equilibrium. Even the system will. So to strike an equilibrium, the air will move from the high pressure to the low pressure. In simple words, we can say from the inside of the glass to the outside. That is, some of the expanding air will escape from under the glass so as to maintain the equilibrium. Also, you may be able to notice bubbling of the water here. We also need to remember a fact that the flame will not always burn with the same intensity. Once the oxygen inside starts depleting, the flame will start fading off. Thus, the heat inside will reduce, which will result in the cooling off of the air inside the air inside will begin to contract. This contraction creates a low pressure inside the glass. So where is the high pressure? That is correct. It's outside the glass. To summarize, we can say that the pressure inside the glass is less than outside. Thus, to create equilibrium, the high pressure air outside tries to get to the low pressure air inside the glass. This forces the water into the glass. That's when you notice that the water has begun to rise in the glass, but slowly. Once the oxygen in the glass is completely used up, the flame fades and blows out. As the heating is completely stopped, the expanding air will start to cool faster. Thus, the pressure inside the glass will fall considerably. Now to maintain the equilibrium, the air moves from the outside to the inside of the glass quickly 
forcing the water into the glass at a much faster pace. Hence, we see the water entering inside the glass rapidly. The water will stop entering once the equilibrium is established. Notice the glass now is partially filled with water. And here we're done with the puzzle. Wasn't it interesting? True that. Here we see that memorizing a concept is equivalent to not knowing it. For proper application, we need to understand the concepts well. Only then they will be of some use. And at Don't Memorize, we encourage the learners to understand the concepts through our crisp yet interesting videos. To become a part of this massive community of learners, do subscribe to our channel. Don't memorize, just understand. Now before signing off, here's another puzzle for you. Note, this one may or may not follow the logic which we just used to solve our puzzle. Here it is. Now, Nora also visits the same restaurant. But now the challenge for the bumper offer has changed. The objects provided are a box of thumbtacks, matches and a candle. The challenge is to mount the lit candle to the wall in a way that the wax does not drip onto the table or the floor. How would you complete the task? Share your answers in the comment section.